Hello, Fearless Gamers, Matt here for Fearless Games, and today we are continuing with our painting cipher model here. So, the last episode, what we did was is we did some min minor highlights on his bolt pistol here. We painted up his hair, and we painted up his face here, up to the first, um, the first, um, layer stage. So, we are now going to continue, and today the following paints will be used in this episode, and we're going to jump right in on finishing up his face. And so I'm going to take my highlight color for his flesh tone that I'm going to use, and what, like I said in the last episode, I am working on doing a, um, essentially a, um, like, elvish look to him. Give him this very pale, um, pale effect. Kind of give him, like, he's been on the road. Maybe some, maybe very little sleep in there. And you don't know sure what's going on with them, but we're going to take this and we're going to highlight some edging on the lip here, the tip of the nose, then the chins there, and just a little bit dab here on the cheeks. Okay, and then I'm just going to do a little bit chips there and around his chin, there, and boom, and and there. Booyah. So he's got that little thing there, and then we are going to move on to the final bit of that, which we'll wait for the layer paint to dry a little bit before we go on to. So what we will then do now is go over the, um, the skull piece here, the little skeleton thing that he's got, with a metal-like color. I'm going to do like a very... I'm going to do like, um, the... let's see, what color else shall I do? Probably going to do it in, um, dwarven in a bronze-like color. That way, because it looks... because I'm going to be using one of the new technical paints, and I hear that it looks best with like a bronze-like color. So I'm going to take that. I'm going to paint that right here along his ear and just paint up this skull piece. And let's go down in here. And boom, ba boom. And then now with this rib cage here, I'm going to go a little deeper into the crevices than normal because I want to have that color nice to take in the effect of the um, technical paint a little bit. So I'm going to be a little more generous with painting the thing. Okay. Hey, sorry about that. I don't mean to block the paint as much. It's force of habit of how I paint. So, um, 
uh, I'm just going to randomly talk about something real quick is, um, this is, this video is being recorded in, um, December during holiday season here, though this video probably won't make it to the, um, channel until after January, and I have to say I'm a little bit excited because I got myself, um, a little present. Um, I usually try every, um, holiday to pick up something from Forge World, and I just made the order, and I'm hoping that it'll be here before Christmas. That way I can take it out, see it, and enjoy opening up my little Christmas gift for myself during Christmas time and not afterwards. So, we got that all nice and painted up. And now I think we've had given the other, the paint, the um, face enough time to dry. So I'm going to get this brush nice and clean and then I will move on to the final bit for the face, which is going to be adding a dry paint to it. And so I'm going to take my most ratty of brushes for this one and going to apply some brand new well not brand new I've had this for a while some of the Eldar flesh dry palette that way I can get a really nice highlight that works that will complement the colors that I used well and I'm using my palette to take off the excess paint here and then this and I'm just gonna go whoop, whoop, whoop. and there we go so now he cypher's face is done it's got a nice looking pale deep lined look to it, it makes it look like he's a worn um, warrior who's been out doing stuff for who knows how long and the only thing now that's left on to do with his face is his teeth because you actually can see them and it'll also make that gaping hole a little less gaping because right now it just looks like a black void in his mouth but I will get to that in a little bit um, I'm gonna first do one quick wash of um, of no oil, really, really light on that skeleton that we just painted, because I don't want to go too crazy with it. Just enough to kind of give this guy a bit of a shade area. And... Boom. Okay. Now, with that, we will be getting ready for the next step. So while I let this guy dry, I'm gonna go ahead and actually, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up his mouth. I'm gonna get his teeth a little bit of color, just enough so you can actually see that he has teeth. And so I'm going to take my white, because I'm going to say that he brushes his teeth and uses a nice fluoride rinse every day. Plus, he's a superhuman. I doubt the dark... I doubt the Space Marines really have much dental issues. There. There we go. So now, the gaping hole in his mouth is less prominent, and it looks like he actually has teeth instead of just a big gaping hole. So that's one part of the model completely done. Well, two parts, because the bolt gun is the bolt pistol. I keep calling it a bolt gun. Um, bolt, the, bolt, the bolt pistol and his face is now completely done. And so, all that's left is some little details on the skulls, the chain, and so we are going to, let's see, 
Oh, that looks dry. Let's gonna, I'm gonna give this technical paint a whirl now. So we've gotta give this a good shake because it's been sitting around for quite some time. And from what I'm hearing, we just have to um, treat it like it's a shade. So that's what I'm gonna do um, for this guy is treat it like it's a shade paint. So first gonna really shake it up good. And okay. First time that this color is seeing the light of day. Well, the lack thereof of day since it's went nighttime. Okay. So now I'm just take a little bit here and go over his rib cage of this. to use a dry clean brush here to help absorb some of this technical paint so it's less ups, less it's like it's a little overpowering right now I'm gonna use the technic the brush here to clean up the technical paint a bit Okay, and so to help out with um, this, because it is a little thick in there, I'm going to do a quick brush over with my original bronze color to try and to um, help with the, um, to help distinguish the um, chest plate, because right now it just looks like one giant blob there. So, I'm going to do a quick piece here, so just... This, get that color up, and then going to There. So now it's a little less overpowering and kind of looks a little more like it's just starting to oxidize or whatever that effect that bronze and copper have on it that this weird funky thing is. I think it's oxidization. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments because I am not all tech. I'm not all up on that kind of stuff. Okay, so now clean off the brush, and he's coming along pretty well right now, I'd have to say, if I do say so myself. So now, going to paint his belt buckle. Let me just find my metal color. There we go. Here, and then I'm gonna leave. Oops, 
sorry. Thought it was getting a little too far away from the camera there. Okay. Then I have to this. His name's not Lumma. It's Quark. And he's a male. Bing. Okay, and then paint the chain back here. paint up the list a little bit here on his backpack because we may be able to see this even after everything ends. Sorry, I do apologize like this video is going to, a lot of these um earlier videos are going to be very clunky when it comes to like the camera angles and the whatnot because I'm still getting used to doing these old video tutorials again. Let us begin. So we did the paint on his tri on his um chain bit, on his chains here, and um, some of his skulls. So then we're going to do a wash of the um a black wash over it just to help enhance the highlights and enhance the shit, enhance the shades on here. So right there. There. Right there. And then do 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 Move on to the back here. There we go. So, slowly and steadily, our model here is coming together right quite nicely. So, now I'm going to move on to my next, um, bit which is going to be um let's see on him he's pretty much ready for the final like highlight pieces like for that so i'm gonna put him aside for now and we're gonna work on his other arm here his plasma gun arm um so first i'm going to paint the plasma pistol and for this i'm going to use a black coat for it because um, it's a Dark Angel weapon and my Dark Angel Plasma weapons tend to be um, yellow, red with a yellow tip, but since this is like a some sort of fancy Dark Angel pistol that can't get, um, does not get hot, doesn't get hot, I'm going to paint it a little differently to um, represent that it's not a normal plasma pistol. So we're going to first go here, put that there, excuse me, and then we'll pick this up here. Don't worry, I'm sure it won't 
do 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 just painting up a plasma pistol here. And <laughs> I will say, um the plasma pistol for supposedly being of Dark Angel descent is very plain. But then again, um I don't know how much of that was based off the um original fluff and how much of that is new new fluff that they've thrown in just for kicks. black casing for his plasma pistol which looks to be like I might need to clean up a little bit because I must have missed some bits on here that needed to be removed um so we're going to take a pause from that for right now actually now we'll continue I can fix it later and we will go and apply a metal pick cup coloring to it using the same metal um, that we've used for the bolt pistol. And we'll be almost done. And so we paint that. Okay, and then we go here, clean dab this up a little bit more, just gotta work a little bit more into the um the bolt pistol here. Okay, so got the bolt, the bolt, the um, lead breaker, lead belcher, or whatever it's called, on here. Oh, there's that. It's one little piece that I missed. And then we'll be ready to move on. To the next step. Okay. Alrighty, so we got that, and looking at my time clock, it looks like I am slowly here, slowly and step, sure, slowly and steadily running out of time. So I'm just going to pick out some little highlights, some little details here with the paintbrush as our time whittles down. And then, I'm going to end this with a wash on that pistol. Okay. 
Okay. This and as you can see, it's a little bit messy, but it's okay because I used a pretty thin layer of black, so I can go over it again and should not be a problem. And now, with that, it is all finished for this step, and we are done for today. So, thank you all for joining us and watching. If you haven't yet, like and subscribe us. Check us out on Facebook. That way you can get some news, interest, and info, and maybe sometimes some cool caption contests that we may be running um, there. So, thank you all for watching, and until next time, fearless gamers, take care. Mm -hmm.